Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, I just I want to show you what I've been working on and how to stain maple because let me just tell you, maple is a booger. It blotches and it's terrible and I want to show you what I've done and what me and a client have made a decision on to go forward with it and so here's what I've done. Let, let's just go for it. I'm going to show you what I'm working on first. Check this Here out. Here is the table that I'm working on. It is a board gaming table. It is a dining room table that has a removable top. And you come in here and see it's got a board gaming table. It's got slots for cup holders and everything else and storage. So, client's super happy uh, with it. But as I gave him stain samples, we were all both like, uh oh. So, look. so anyways, maple, man, it just, it's a known for being blotchy, especially soft maple. And so the table was looking great. And then I go to get them stain samples and we're both like, man, this sucks. I don't normally do a lot of staining. Um, I build a lot of furniture out of just hardwood, like walnut, cherry, um, all different types. And usually just do a, a spray or an oil finish on it. But they wanted this stain, so they're paying for it. And so I'm gonna stain it. And so I just was gonna go about the staining process and then this is what happened. So, but Check maple it. gets really, really blotchy. It has this like blotch and irregularities in it. And I don't really like it all. And these aren't even the bad samples. So uh, this is what I did as I was doing a bunch of them. What did I do to help get to where it didn't have, look at this, didn't have the blotchiness to it. It just, you can see the grain. Hey, look at these, these are the good ones. Um, the client just left my shop and we were both way happier with these options and what I used and what seemed to do really well on it that he chose. Um, he chose this one right here is what the one. No, he chose that one. That's the one he chose. But that's what we did. But it doesn't just have any blotch like a lot of these do see all that blotch or that irregularity in it and just doesn't look good all right so uh as i did a lot of different experiments here's what i seem to work best this pre uh, minwax pre-stain conditioner mixed with a stain you know it says prevents blotchiness man i tried several different ways of using it and it it sucks it just doesn't do a good job um i got blotchiness i tried letting it dry five minutes 15 minutes i tried putting on two three coats letting set overnight and still when you put a, a old base stain on it it just blotches um and i don't have any examples on me because i'm I, I let the customer take some of those but just did not have any good experience with this at all um but what seemed to work the best was taking denatured alcohol and 100% uh, wax-free shellac. Um, so it's like a sanding sealer. Make sure you get uh, wax-free shellac, not with wax. And what I did was a 50-50 mixture. I read this on Fine Woodworking Magazine and tried it, brushed it on, let it set. After I let it set, I sanded it to, I think, 400 grit. Um, because that's the other thing too, if you compress the fibers of maple, they help. Let me get this real quick. But as you can see, um, I brushed it on, I let it set, and then afterwards, it kind of raised the grain a little bit, came back, sanded with the grain. I did 400 grit and 320 grit sanding, couldn't really tell too much of a difference. But then I put the stain on there, and then I let the stain sit. And so I also let it dry. I think I let it dry for like up to like, I don't know, 20, 25, 30 minutes maybe at the most. Um, and then wiped off the excess. Then I stained it and everything else. But I let the stain set on here for a good, you know, 10 minutes each one. And again, just seemed to eliminate a lot of that blotchiness. Now, here's the one thing I will tell you. It doesn't seem to get very, very dark. Um, it was very, very light, um, and it's not super dark. But if someone's wanting like a honey or a cinnamon look to their maple without um, whatever, I think that was the way to go. It's not going to soak in near as deep. It's not going to get nearly as dark. What I did do, though, is it, and that seemed to help a little bit, was in between uh, coats of letting this stuff dry, I would come back with 320 grit, sand with the grain lightly, and then put another coat of the uh, stain on there, let it set for 10 to 15 minutes and just soak, because that shellac is going to keep it from really soaking in, and I would also do stain samples, but yeah. That seemed to be the best way to go about it. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, 
let me know and I'll try to answer them. But uh, I would I wouldn't even worry with the the staining conditioner unless you're just okay with some blotching. Now this is on uh, soft maple. This is not on plywood. I don't know how it's going to work on plywood, but I'm not worried about the plywood. I'm worried about not getting a lot of blotchiness on this tabletop and using that DWAC shellac and 50-50 mixture with denatured alcohol seem to be a really good uh, help in eliminating some of that blotchiness. Again, you're gonna sacrifice some of the dark tones or you may have to step up your staining several times to get it to maybe the color that you want. But overall, I'm a lot happier with this and the look of it than I am with like that blotching that you get right there or you can see it better. Like it just does not look good at all. And uh, yeah, so stay away from the preconditioner. I'm just not gonna ever use it. Um, and I'm gonna do this in the future when I have to do stuff with maple. So yeah, that is uh, it. Maybe that'll help you. If I didn't really make sense, uh, let me know and I'll try to explain this better. But that has, I was, honestly, I was really stressed out about what, um, how this was gonna look because the table is beautiful. I'm really excited about it. I put a lot of hard work into it. The client loves it. And then you give them all these stain samples and you're like, this is gonna suck. So a couple things I would say, stay away from staining. I ha Just use a really pretty wood. You don't have to stain stuff. I hate staining, but uh, I wanna make a living and some people want stained wood. Or go more towards woods that stain better. Maple doesn't really stain really well. Cherry, birch, beech, those don't, woods don't really stain really well. Um, more like your oak and your ash and your hickory seem to be take stains better than some of these other woods do that blotch more. But maybe I'll help you. I'll link the fine woodworking article that I maybe found. You got to have a membership for it. You should get a membership to fine woodworking magazine. It's uh, it's amazing. Um, it's worth every penny. I got the digital archives and I was able to go back and find it that really helped me with this technique. Um, I know some people do like a glue, rub down a glue and stuff. Man, I'm not even willing to try that on something. It's just too, it just seems like too big of a risk for me on especially a nice fine piece of furniture. But um, de-wax shellac and denatured alcohol doesn't scare me nearly as bad. So anyways, and I've seemed to have good results. We'll see how the table comes out. Maybe the table's pretty terrible and we'll we'll go from there and I'll pull this off the internet and apologize to everybody. But anyways, have a good day. Get out there, keep woodworking, and uh, yeah, keep chasing your dreams.